What's up guys? It's Garrett from Backyard Foundry and what I got here is the engine from my gallium video where I tried to kill it with gallium and as you may know it defeated me in that last bout. It went the distance, ended up winning, but I'm back for more. So today, how am I going to take my revenge on this engine? Well, funny you should ask that because, my dear viewers, I made some thermite. Alright, as you can see, the gallium is still in the engine. Haven't removed it from last time. And uh, so we're going to see if perhaps the thermite will just melt the hole through the block, or if it'll just end up scoring the cylinder wall to death, or if it'll do nothing at all. Which would be a shame because this engine's already beaten me once. Now, since I had to sell a kidney to afford the gas for this video. No, God, please, no! It would mean a lot if you would consider liking and subscribing so I could try buying a new kidney. And trust me, a bathtub in Bangkok is not a good recovery bed. So it would mean a lot if you would consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. So what is thermite? Um, thermite is a redox reaction between a metal oxide and another metal which is higher on the reactivity series than the one in the oxide. For example, in my thermite, I used iron 3 oxide. And if you look at a reactivity series, aluminum is higher, thus more reactive, than the, aluminum, or than the iron in the oxide. So it'll replace the iron, so to speak, in the uh, oxide. And that is a redox reaction. Now the crux of this whole experiment is the fact that uh, thermite burns at like 4,000-ish degrees Fahrenheit, and so it should be more than enough to melt through the aluminum in an engine block. The biggest question is whether or not it'll even ignite, because thermite has an extremely high activation energy. Thus why I'm going to have to use, in this demonstration, a piece of magnesium ribbon to ignite this thermite. So comment down below if you think the thermite will actually react, thus igniting, um, or if it'll just score up the uh, cylinder wall or nothing will happen. Let me know down below. Don't look right at it when it goes off. You'll have uh, spots for a while. <laughs> But so the the byproducts of this reaction are iron metal and aluminum oxide. So as you can see down there, there are some blobs of metal. Those are iron. And this is often used to weld railroad ties together. Now some of you may be wondering why my thermite is, uh, well, silver and not the typical red. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I follow the 3 to 1 ratio of iron oxide to aluminum. But my best guess is because I used an extremely fine aluminum powder at 40 microns. 40 microns? 40 microns! Now I'm going to be feeding the thermite in through the intake, air intake on the carburetor, so it'll just run through the engine uh, as if it was uh, air, more or less. But enough of that! Let's get to the reason you guys are here, and that is the rematch of the century between me and this engine.
so it doesn't look like the thermite is igniting in the combustion chamber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of magnesium to the mixture. And this should help it ignite a little better. After that last try, the engine shut off and it will not start again. So what I'm going to do is take it apart and then uh, show you what's inside. Right guys, as you can see, most of the thermite did not ignite. It just stuck to the block and formed this real thick layer of thermite goo onto all the surfaces in here. Which, I mean, it wasn't entirely unexpected just due to the, to the high activation energy of a thermite reaction that this wouldn't exactly work entirely as planned, but the engine did sort of die. I mean, the pull cord's broken now because I, I snapped off one of the pieces, so I guess, um, victory? Now, I don't think I was just going to leave you with that. I made a bunch more thermite, and I'm going to fill up as much of the cylinder as I can and just burn it because... You know, sometimes just destroying stuff is mildly amusing. All right, so I got the, the cylinder filled up and it goes to about that deep in the cylinder. It's bottom dead center. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna light it off and let's see what happens. Guys, I don't know what it's going to take to finally finish this thing off, but as you can see, the edge is still definitely reciprocates. Am I a failure? Does this, does this make me a failure? Let me know in the comments if I'm a failure. I appreciate your, I appreciate all of your input. Actually, after second analysis, I noticed that we did in fact manage to burn a hole through the piston, which was my goal, ultimately. I was hoping it would be a bigger hole, um, but hey, <laughs> that's still pretty cool. I'm not going to complain. Um, there is a pretty, there is a, a red bulb of metal down in the, in the case now. You can't see it, unfortunately. The camera's not picking it up. It's pretty dull as it's cooling off. So this is all the iron uh, that I recovered from the reaction. Um, obviously the iron oxide was reduced into iron metal. Now if you guys want to see me do anything with this, this small chunk of, of iron here, uh, leave a comment down below what you think I should make out of it or what I should do with it.